Hi, I'm Kevin with Tax Outdoors. I'm going to show you how to sanitize your water system. The first step in sanitizing your water system is to drain everything in the habitat that holds water. That includes your Truman heater, your fresh tank, and your gray tank. When it comes to sanitization, the reason why it's important to drain your Truma is because it actually holds about two gallons of water on its own. So when water first comes into the plumbing, whether it's from the fresh tank or the fresh water hookup outside, that two gallon amount will fill up within the Truma. Once that amount is hit, then the water will bypass the Truma until you use hot water and then more water will be added as necessary. So for purposes of sanitizing, you wanna make sure that you cover that area by completely draining everything. That's why it's important to drain the Truma. And then when you fill it back up with the water that has the bleach solution in it, that water will infiltrate the Truma and help sanitize that area on its own. After you drain the Truma heater, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to check is your fresh tank. All you have to do is just unscrew the plug on it and water will start coming out. And the last thing you need to drain is the gray tank, which is located under the sink. All you do is pull the release valve to start the flow. This process is going to be the same for both the Cricut and the Mantis. The main difference is the amount of bleach that you want to start off with for your water solution. So if you're using a Cricut, you have a 15 gallon fresh tank. That's gonna to translate to two ounces of bleach to the 15 gallons of water, very minimal amount. And if you have a Mantis, it's gonna to translate to two and a half ounces of bleach for the 20 gallon tank. In this example, since we're using a Cricut, I added two ounces of bleach to the cup. We also want to make sure that we don't dump the bleach directly into the fresh tank on its own. So I added a little bit of water to dilute it and help it make its way down into the fresh tank. Once you have your bleach solution diluted, just use a funnel to pour it into the fresh tank. Once your bleach solution is on the way down to the fresh tank, just take your fresh hose and top off the fresh tank, fill it up at its max capacity. Now that the fresh tank is completely full, we need to turn on the water pump to pressurize the system. And also because we put water into the Truma, we need to turn the Truma controller's hot water heater on. So that way when we start to run the water, the water will pass through the Truma system. Once you're fully pressurized, make sure that you can run water to both the faucet at the sink and the outdoor shower. After you've confirmed that your bleach water solution has made it to all parts of your plumbing, through your sink and through the outdoor shower, now all you have to do is wait. Typically you want to leave it within the plumbing for about 24 hours to make sure that it can work and then after that you're going to drain it. After your 24 hour wait period is up, you're going to want to completely drain your fresh tank by opening up your plumbing and emptying this into the gray tank. Once your fresh tank is completely drained through the sink and everything is in the gray tank, simply drain the gray tank and repeat the process without bleach until you can't smell bleach anymore. It might take two or three times before everything's run through the system.